Good evening Hackology and welcome to another episode. In tonight's video we're going to be carrying on with IRC where we left off before. In the last episode we looked at registering users and logging into an IRC server and joining channels, just the IRC basics. In tonight's episode we're going to be carrying on with that topic and we're going to be looking at creating your own channel on an IRC server. So watch the other episode for the basics and Let's get on with getting our uh, admin on and creating a room. So, just before we do that, Software Freedom Day last Saturday, I installed Zubuntu on a friend's laptop that was running Vista. It was terribly slow, followed with lots of junk software, and um, basically installed Zubuntu for him. And he was very impressed with uh, how quick everything ran and that all the software was free and he was quite happy because he could do his web browsing and burn CDs and stuff so um, yeah he was he was happy okay so IRC why would you want to create uh, a room well it enables you to have live real-time chat with users really good if you've got a community website blog or the like and also if you want off-topic or private conversation on a server you could create a hidden room um, and just invite certain users to join. In the last episode we looked at joining a room. Creating a room is exactly the same process. You're going to use the forward stroke join command to join a channel of your choice and first of all you might want to make sure that there's not one already with a name that you're thinking of. When you join the channel it will basically make you a founder which gives you special privileges which means you can assign operatives to the uh, room and also remove the room and set certain details about the room that other users might not be able to touch. So uh, if you created a channel successfully you should be sitting in there now as the founder member and the first step to creating a channel is to register it and add a password as uh, you wouldn't want somebody else coming in and being able to kick your users or uh, manipulate your chat room. So the command you need to issue to register the channel is forward stroke message chan serve register the channel name and the password and the description. So we'd use forward stroke msg chan serve register pound sign hackology leap password hackology community channel. Um, as an example for registering a room. So when you register a channel you become the founder as I just mentioned. Um, so this allows you to make operatives and if you uh, log in and find yourself not the uh, founder or, or not logged in as the, uh, the founder member and you wish to identify with the chan server that you are, you would send, issue the command message chan serve identify the channel and then the password. So for example message chan serve identify pound hackology leak password so once you've created a channel you're going to want to set the topic you're going to want to set the associated uh, website URL and email and to do that you will use the uh, chan, serve as, chan serve for all these commands the first one for setting the topic is message chan serve topic pound hackology stuff we talk about so we're messaging chan serve telling it that we want to change the topic of the channel name and then followed by the topic we wish to set so you can also set the channel email uh, forward stroke message chan serve set pound hackology email hackology at gmail.com would set the Hackology channel email to hackology at gmail. So set the channel URL forward stroke message chan serve set pound hackology URL youtube.com forward stroke hackology. But set the URL of the channel pound hackology to youtube.com forward stroke hackology. And to set the description forward stroke message chan serve set pound hackology desk short for description hackology channel. 
So that would set the channel's description and to set the entry message that users are uh, issued with by the server when they first log on to the channel we would set forward stroke message chan serve set entry msg welcome to pound hackology now these are some of the basic commands there are others um, but I'll talk about those in a moment we're just going to message sorry <laughs> we're just going to move on to defining operatives and adding uh, ops to your channel so to do this you're going to forward stroke message chan serve access the channel name add and then the nickname and the access level that you would like to grant that user so to do this for a real example we're going to forward stroke message chan serve access pound hackology add t level 5 and this would assign t as a level 5 user in pound sign hackology so there are other ac access levels from 10 to 0 10 being uh, having access to A-Kick and 0 to having no privileges whatsoever. Uh, 5 is a good level that gives operatives the powers to kick, ban um, and stop uh, and also stops them from tinkering with important settings to do with your channel. So um, we just like to adding operatives just so as you know you can remove them as well we can forward straight message chance serve access pound symbol channel name then del nick would delete the specified nickname from the specified channel so for example message chance serve access pound hackology del t or the entry number uh, by entry number we can list out the operatives in the channel by typing message chance serve access pound hackology sorry yes pound hackology list or um, replaced with whatever channel you wish to list the operatives in. One command that we didn't cover in the basics video is the ignore command. So take for instance if you've got a, a really annoying user that keeps trolling your channel you can use the ignore command so that would be forward stroke ignore and then the username and if you wish to unignore uh, the said user you can use the unignore command uh, followed by the username. When you grant operative powers, you give them the ability to kick users from the channel. So trolls, um, so for example, if the user is given a warning or they've been kicked a few times, you could then ban them. So. Operatives have special powers. One of them is they can kick people, and to do that, it's pretty easy. Uh, it's forward stroke kick and the username, and that will happen within the active channel. And this is we're dealing with a op serve now rather than chan serve. So you could say kick t, and then you could put a message in and say you got kicked because of um, to let the user know why they've been kicked. And Okay, so trolls going to troll, and if it comes to it, you're going to need to ban them, and you can do that using the forward stroke mode, hand symbol, channel, uh, plus B, and the nickname that you wish to ban. Or you can do a more thorough ban using a regex, using the forward stroke mode, hand symbol, channel, um, plus B, the nickname, and then exclamation mark, star, at sign, star and that would put a ban on the user from being able to connect from any host using that um, specified nickname. Okay, so say for instance you've created a channel and it's not a permanent um, channel that you're going to be keeping and using. Um, when you've finished you can issue the forward stroke drop command uh, followed by the pound sign and the channel name to drop the channel from the server's database and keep things clean and tidy. So there are many more chan serve commands, uh, far too many for me to be able to cover in a video. If you need to um, find out more about chan serve or op serve or um, nick serve, you can just go onto Google 
and Google for ChanServe commands or OpServe commands or um, you know and you should be able to uh, to find some good reference on the on the web and also built into most IRC clients is a help command so if you type forward stroke help followed by the command that you wish um, to to have help about um, the IRC will spit that back to the um, output window also um, you can see a list of all the commands by typing forward stroke help so finally um, that's been Hackology. Uh, I'm thinking of buying a new video camera for the channel because this one is getting a bit dated and I need better video quality. If you guys have got any um, cool suggestions for cameras, I'd be, um, uh, you know, it'd be really good to hear. Just drop them in the comments at the bottom. And uh, we'll be back really soon. Have fun hacking as always. Peace.